Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about move SW or move string word or move select word, which is part of the string instructions in 8086 instruction set. Uh, in this series, we are basically implementing each, each instruction of this 8086 instruction set in EMU8086 environment. This is the 8086 environment. And if you are following, you are, I hope you have become quite familiar with this environment and you can easily analyze uh, or check every instruction. So in this series, I'm checking every instruction. And right, right now in this tutorial, we are going to talk about move SW or move string word instruction. In the last tutorial, we have discussed about move string byte, uh, which is used to copy one of the information, uh, uh, copy one of the byte from the uh, data segment or one of the series of memory locations into another series of memory locations. Furthermore, uh, these string instructions, uh, either we talk about move S byte or move SW, right? Uh, they are actually uh, consider, uh, they, they consider always uh, data segment as a source segment and extra segment as a destination segment, okay? So in this video tutorial, uh, I have already created this makeup uh, or the uh, conditions for you. And now I'm just going to implement the instruction only, right? Uh, which is basically move SW, right? And I hope you can see that there is a complete program, but I'm not going to discuss complete program because in last tutorial, I have already explained things in very much detail. And that tutorial was very long because we were explaining this program as well. Because what we did in this program, we actually save certain informations like this. We can see that 5A, 5A, 8B, 7A, 8, 5A, 8, these are stored in data segment and at certain specific addresses. Data segment, uh, the logical address is 0200. And you can also verify it using, uh, let me highlight it this area. This is the data segment. I hope you can see that. Uh, and okay, let me highlight these four variables because these four variables are important for us. SI, SI source index, DI, DI is destination index, DS, DS is data segment register, ES, ES is extra segment register. So DS colon SI, you can see that uh, DS value is 0, 0200 and it is also reflected in this EMU8086 environment, right? Similarly, SI is zero, so SI is zero. Furthermore, ES, ES is extra segment, so it is basically zero, 0300 and DI is destination index and it's zero, zero. Right, so move a string white, sorry, move a string word. What it does, it actually copy a word. Word means 16 bit of information. We know that in 8086, every byte or every location can store only one byte of information. That is 54. 54 is in hexadecimal. Uh, number system so five is basically four bit four is another four bit so in total is is it is a eight bit information so 54 is an eight bit information stored it at this location zero two hundred colon four times zero this is a logical address right i hope in this stage or at this stage uh, uh, everybody or at least viewers of mine uh, who are watching my contact uh, uh, my tutorials from the beginning they have become very familiar about logical addressing and physical addressing. And so uh, phys logical address is 0, 0200 colon four times zero. And it's physical address can also be confirmed by just multiplying 0, 0200 uh, with 10 and adding this offset information. I hope uh, you are uh, already aware about this fact, but if you don't know, you, I will put a link on I button uh, in which you can actually watch the tutorial about physical and logical addressing in 8086 microprocessor. Uh, or uh, furthermore, you can also verify it in 8086 environment or EMU8086 environment. This is the area where you can observe uh, the logical address. Right now, uh, I can go up to this address. Okay, let's go to this address. Uh, for example, I can simply write here 0200, which is the base part or the DS part, and then 00, which is source index or offset part. And I, if I click it, you can see that this 0, 0200 colon four times zero, it becomes zero two triple zero in physical addressing because this one is basically what, uh, this is the logical addressing and this is the physical addressing and the content is five four. As we, as I told you, I have already written a complete program which have 
perform this task that we have already stored this information and now we are just going to uh, you apply move sw or move string white word instruction on this specific set so you can see that this information is already stored 547a 8b 7a 54 and 7 okay furthermore i have already executed this part of instruction because it was just responsible to store this information and now i'm going to execute this instruction which is our intended instruction move sw and what it does it actually copy the word information word means 16 but that means 54 and 7a both will accumulate and combine and make it 16 bit information 8 bit and n bit so these 8 bit will got, get copied from source index or from data segment which is a source segment over here into the extra segment and extra segment is currently pointed by es and di so di is basically 00 and es is 0, 0300 so it will switch to this address 0, 0300 colon 4 times 0 right and how we are going to test it let's see so if i'm uh, i have already executed uh, the source code up to this point and now this yellow instruction the high instruction which is highlighted in yellow color is going to execute so let's go and execute it so if i am going to press single step that means this instruction will execute you can see that the now the next line is highlighted this line is gone so let's see if 54 or 7a which is 16 bit information or a word information uh, has gone to this address or not so we will what what we will do 0 300 four times zero and we will just press enter. So you can see that five, four, seven, a, uh, let me highlight it for you. Uh, this is the, you can see that five, four, seven, a, the, these two informations have already been come here. That means uh, I can simply write that uh, five, four has arrived here. And similarly, seven, a, seven, a has arrived here, right? So similarly, you can apply another time this instruction, like you can see that the next instruction is again move SW. And furthermore, before we apply next time, one thing you have noticed that SI and DI both were zero, zero because they were actually pointing to this addresses, right? This addresses, but now they have incremented by two because 547A, 00 and 01, both of these instructions have been used or both of these instructions have been already utilized or have been already used in the code. So SI should in, uh, direct to or should point to 0002 and DI should also point to 0002, which is the next location in extra segment, right? So what I will do, uh, you can actually uh, you can you can actually see that these informations are reflected in SI and DI. They are both have uh, incremented by two, so both have values of 002. So let's execute one more time. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press single stop, and you can see that now the next instruction is executed. SI and DI both have incremented. They have become what? Triple zero four because uh, uh, let me, yeah, this and this, both of these variables have gone right into there. And we can actually verify it using uh, logical addressing. Zero three hundred colon zero zero. Okay, let's start from zero zero. So you can see that five four seven a which were actually uh copied in the last instruction so now the next uh next instruction or you can see that uh, next content which is copied in extra segment is 8b 7a that means this 8b and 7a has already gone there so that means one can easily simply say that uh 8b 7a okay and now the 0, 004 should be pointed by SI and DI. So you can see that 04 and 04 are pointed by this SI and DI. You can also repeat this instruction uh, multiple times, uh, but I hope you have already got the idea. Still, if you have any confusion or query, you can post your queries and comment section about this move string word instruction. Thank you so much for listening.